Okay, so we reached the second level here, the uh, Tilikum mine. We drove up from the uh, lower portal, which is uh, just right down below us here in the clearing. Right there. The ore carts are uh, tracks are just to the left, and here you can see the pipes and stuff coming out. The road continues on up the ridge. We're going to see if we can make our way up there, but uh, you can see the left. There's a lot of workings over there, too, that we're going to try to get to, but... Uh, we're going to go inside and check this portal out, see what's inside. Okay, we made our way into the uh, second level of the Tilikum mine. I was looking back out the uh, partially collapsed portal. And uh, you can see a timbered section above the portal, so this is obviously a, an unstable part of the mine that they had timbered from the beginning. And the uh, tunnel continues around and heads this way. A lot of cold air blowing out of this tunnel, so might lead to some extensive workings. And we're going to go uh, check out what's ahead. Looks like there might be a curve to the left right away. Looks like a collapse. Yep. It's collapse or backfill, one of the two. And uh, the main tunnel continues this way. I can hear the guys talking. So it goes way up. So we're going to go up. There's another little bend on the left here. Another collapse. It looks like there's probably a stove above us. And the main tunnel continues this way. And it looks like we have another bend to the left. A lot of water. I <laughs> see over here. They backfilled the tunnel. And we're going to try to see if we can make our way around this left hand turn. Okay, so that was the main entrance way that way, and the main tunnel continues past us here and up over that rubble pile. But just off to the left, there's a uh, there's an entrance to a stope that we're going to climb in, and I can feel a ton of cold air blowing out of here. So we're going to go check out the main tunnel first, and we'll make our way back and look up in the stope later. Okay, so we've made our way past this little uh, flooded section of the tunnel, the mid-level of the Tilikum mine, and uh, panning around here, the main tunnel continues this way, it's a slight curve to the left, we have a branching tunnel that leads off to the left, with some air pipes. And we have a tunnel straight ahead, which looks like it just got in in a small room. It's kind of a, it's a little mini stoke. Maybe they took some uh, small cavity of ore out. And we turn around, that's the way where we came in. Tunnel off to the right. And we have this main straight tunnel that we're going to continue down first. So we're going to head down this branch and see where it goes. Okay, so we made our way down the main tunnel and you can see there's a uh, roped off area. And uh, that roped off area has a drill rod on the, the ground here and there's a little miniature stope above us. Um, which I don't think continues behind me, but I'll have a look. It does not. Just ends right there. And then just off to my right, we have a wind or an R pass that goes down, way down, and uh, up this way. Looks like they would have dropped the ore down through here and down to the lower levels to the uh, mucker and ore carts that were waiting below that we saw on the, on the first level. So we're going to make our way and continue down this uh, this main tunnel here and uh, see what else is down this tunnel, this drift of the uh, telecom mine in the mid, uh, second level. Okay, so we just came around this corner from this, that little mini stope that was right there. We have a uh, branching tunnel off to the right. That looks like a dead end right there where the guys are. The main tunnel continues straight ahead. 
and then we have a left here that also ends in a in a small cavity where they removed a pocket of ore. There, there is a ladder. So we think that actually may go up into the stove up above, so we're going to go check it out. So we just came through here. This is what we thought was a dead end with a ladder at the end. There's a little bucket at the end, but it actually uh, it's, it leads to upper levels. That one looks a little dodgy. The ladders look a little wet. But apparently, the one on the other side, I'll make my way over there. This way doesn't look quite as bad. So we might try to make our way up these ladders and uh, basically just use them as a handheld and uh, scurry up the side. But we're going to run out this level first and see what else is down here before we come back and make our way up this ladder. That's the way we came from and there's the small offshoot that we thought was a dead end with the two shafts that go up to upper levels. Continuing around we have another intersection. This one is just a uh, small tunnel to the left, which ends in another little room. It seems to be pretty consistent here. The main tunnel continues this way, just more ventilation tubing on the floor, some wood piping and wooden platform of some kind. Got a tunnel off to the right, which is backfilled and not really passable. So we're going to continue down this way and uh, keep exploring this second level of the Tilica mine. Okay, so we've made our way. This is the main tunnel coming this way. There's a small offshoot to the right, dead end. The main tunnel makes a small left here, which uh, we think is the, the actual end of this drift. We have a ladder moving up here, going up to upper levels, which looks pretty rotten. I don't think we'll be making our way up, and I don't feel any air blowing out of this one, so I have a feeling it just goes up into a stove out area. So we'll just have a quick look at this tunnel off to the right here. Sodium sulfate, 50 kilos. And uh, that's the face, that's the end of this drift tunnel. So we're going to make our way back and uh, see about climbing one of the ladders and see if we can get up to an upper level. So we made our way back to these, this left chute and right chute that had the ladders in them. The right chute, the ladders are doable, but it ends at a uh, boarded up section. The left ends in, uh, actually, I don't know the left ends, but none of the ladders are chained. And it's, uh, they're all just sitting loose inside the tunnel, so there's no way to use them for support. So we're going to make our way back to that stoke that had the uh, big hole in it, and we're going to try to get up the stoke into the upper levels from there. Okay, this is looking back at the uh, junction that we just came from with the uh, two chutes that went up that we were going to climb the ladders on. This is that left dead end. This was the main tunnel that we came down from the portal and uh, this is the first branch to the left hand side. So we're going to walk down and uh, explore that, see where it goes. Right off the start there's some uh, old air pipes and a bucket and stuff on the floor. So we'll continue this way and uh, see where it goes. Okay, so we just made our way around this corner here. We've got a flooded, the tunnel's very flooded, a couple feet of water, we're making our way down the very edge of the tunnel. And then we have it continues off, curves to the right, and ends up in what looks like a chamber. And uh, that's the way we can see through. So we're coming out at the spot where we got to line in to that stove. So I poke the camera through and see if we're going to come back and look through it. So we are. Uh, Coming out 
really deep there. And we've come out into the bottom of this large cavity. And now looking up into it, it's probably 30, 40 feet high. There's a small dugout area on the left. I'm going to make my way across these rocks to the other side and we'll see what's up this way. Okay, so I made my way down this tunnel across these rocks to see what's up this stope. There's a bottle of, uh, looks like motor oil in the middle and the stope goes up there and ends there. There's a small cut above us right here and a continued small cut at the very top and then there's a small little, I don't know if you call it a mini stope or whatever here. And uh, it's hard to see if that's another level continuing out there or if it's just a cut. But uh, yeah, we're going to make our way out of this stope, get some pictures and uh, see if we can make our way up to the next level. Okay, so we just climbed out of the stope. You can see the guys making their way out. There in the corner, that's where the stope came from. We're making our way back down the main tunnel to the portal. And uh, we're going to uh, either try to ride the machines up or hike the, our way up to the next level. We believe there's a third level uh, above this. And we're going to go see if we can find it. Okay, we made our way in through the uh, third level. Uh, there's a small opening. We uh, squeeze through, see the daylight, and uh, the main tunnel continues this way. So we're going to uh, make our way down and see where it ends up on the third level of the Tilikum mine. So we're making our way down this one of the third level of the Tilikum mine. And uh, we're just trying to see at the end if that's the end of the tunnel or if it continues past that. So we'll make our way to the end here and see what's down there. So I have reached the end of the third level. Uh, it was just a short tunnel. You're looking back, you can uh, see the light from the portal there. It was only a few hundred feet deep. And uh, the water is deep. So I'm gonna carefully make my way back out of here and see if we can find a fourth level. But that's it from the third level, the Tilica mine. Okay, so we're running short on daylight. As you can see, the moon is out camera makes it look quite a bit lighter than it actually is and uh, apparently there is a fourth level somewhere up in there and uh, we just don't have time to explore it tonight you can see the Sun is already set and uh, we're basically right at the top of Tilikum Mountain here and uh, we're going to start making our way back to camp. We've got a probably a two hour ride back to camp and it's almost nine o'clock here uh, at the top of Tilikum Mountain. So we'll uh, maybe have to make our way back or uh, wait. We sent one guy in to check out the portal. Maybe we'll uh, just do photos of the last of the last one. He said it was some stopes and stuff. So anyway, this is uh, that's it from the Tilikum mine.